fresh pasta is quicker and easier than you think. We just picked up these really great um, dry farm tomatoes at the farmer's market over the weekend and decided it was a good opportunity to make some fresh pasta. No one ever believes us when we tell them that we make pasta at home on just a Wednesday night. All you need to make fresh pasta at home is double zero flour, water, salt, fresh eggs, and a little olive oil. I clearly don't make pasta the way Nona did, by hand. I, I trust my kitchen aid mixer to help me through the whole process, from mixing the pasta dough all the way to actually cutting the pasta with the pasta attachment. That's what makes it so quick and easy. So you need to start with two cups of flour, a pinch of kosher salt, maybe two. And I start out using the paddle attachment. And I keep it on the stir mode. Then you'll need two eggs, four tablespoons of water, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Then you go ahead and mix the dough. I mix it for about a minute until it comes together. Then I switch to the bread hook to continue kneading the dough. Like I said, I don't make my pasta dough the way Nona used to. Attach your bread hook. Lock your kitchen aid in place and then continue to knead it for a couple minutes. After, after the uh, dough has kneaded, you're gonna let it rest for a little bit. And to do that, I just sprinkle a little more of the flour on the counter. I don't put it in the fridge, I want it to stay warm. Take it out of the mixer, lightly knead with my hand for a couple seconds, lightly roll it in the flour on the spot. And just kind of roll it in the flour that's spread out on the counter. And finally, I just cover it with a towel and forget about it for 20 minutes. Now we're gonna start making the pasta. It's really simple with this attachment, wait until you see. What I really love about this pasta attachment is that you can make other pastas besides spaghetti or linguine. For instance, you can make two different sizes of elbow macaroni, you can make bucatini, and today we're gonna to make rigatoni. After it's attached, I just turn on the mixer to about a two, take off a chunk of dough, about the size of a small plum, and start feeding it into the tube. Gently kind of pushing along the way to get things going. And there you have pasta. It's pretty amazing. So I like to have my pieces about half an inch to an inch. And once I see the size I kind of like, I just move this across and then quickly move it back. In order to keep them from sticking, I uh, toss them on a floured um, cookie sheet. I keep just kind of adding little nuggets of uh, dough along the way. And that's really it. It doesn't take long at all. It's really that simple. It's all you do. And you have fresh pasta, quick and easy. After you're done, I let it sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Bring a pot of water to boil. Cook it to al dente, and you're done. Dinner is served.